What's happening? Dustin here with Dustin's Customs and today I got a tool for you that you can use in your shop or in your car, around the house. Mainly this is for vehicles. So let's go ahead and check this out. This is the JT CBT test light. I got it on Amazon. It was 20 bucks. It is a digital readout. It can go anywhere from 3 volts to 48 volts. Uh, the cable is 140 inches long and it has a max amperage draw of 3 to 20 volts. So let's go ahead and check this test light out, take a look at it and maybe try it and see just how that LCD screen pars up and compare it to a normal voltmeter. Uh, mainly you get these because they're quick and easy. Um, this one is computer safe so like I have a link in it says right on the air box caution bring to a, a dealer uh, advanced computer system it says right on it advanced computer system it says right here VIP uh, the warranty basically here's your instructions on how to use it it's got a fuse a light bulb all that good stuff take it right out of here and open this package come a little closer and I'll show you okay opening this package right here uh, it actually looks pretty good this is what it comes with right here it comes with this instruction manual basically how to change your bulb and how to use it then it comes with this little piece of throwaway right there right here pretty long cable as you can see should be long enough it stretches way out you can't see how far I'm actually stretching it right now here is the screen and we'll go ahead and plug this in as you can see it says 3 to 48 volts and then you have your alligator clip right here that does have a negative symbol on it so you'll be able to hook that pretty good spring it does look like it's copper it maybe copper plated I'm not sure but the springs pretty strong so alright so let's go over to the truck behind you and test out this test light we'll put it on the battery that's the quickest thing you can use this for circuit tests and everything else my shots getting hot I turned the AC off for this video so let's go over here and check that out okay we're over here at the Denali and we're gonna go ahead and give this thing a try okay so we'll uh, go ahead and crimp on our ground right here now it does say that this point is needle sharp and I can vouch it is pretty sharp so if you need to poke it through the wire sheath or something like that for testing circuits should be able to do it we'll go ahead and click it right here to the battery and this battery is a little low it's saying 12.4 between 12.3 volts but basically that's your basic battery test right there that just shows you like I said it can go anywhere from 3 to 48 volts and you can use this as a circuit tester and it is computer safe so just right there test the battery so now there is other ways if you wanted to you could use a voltmeter we'll go ahead and grab a voltmeter and show you that way just so you can make up your mind sometimes these these ones are just quick to do quick pin ins and pin outs say for a wiring harness or something like that you can use a voltmeter and test it that way go ahead and put one lead on the ground one lead on the positive and then you can get a readout now this one is saying that the battery is at 10 volts uh, direct current and it could be just a bad connection let's see so the voltmeter is reading right at 11.80 volts so right at 12 volts this voltmeter is probably a little more accurate. This test light is reading right at 12.1 volts, so 0.20 of a difference. Um, this is probably gonna be more accurate, but this will definitely tell you in the ballpark. All right, people. You can go either way. On Amazon, you can go with a voltmeter or a test lead light. These are just quick, dirty, and easy. Clip it on to your circuit on either side of on a ground and then say you got a window switch this is just quick the probe in and out test that window switch test that circuit 
If you make your own harnesses, this is a quick and easy way just to clip on, test that circuit, see if you're getting voltage. It may not be the most accurate. Um, I think uh, my testing methodology was a little off. It probably is within 0 0.1, 0 0.2 of the actual voltage. You can go higher up with a better voltmeter, but I got this voltmeter on Amazon for right around $30 on sale. It does AC, DC, and everything else. It's got a light that you can put on, a little flashlight. I use it to wire it in my new air conditioner. Right now I am covered in sweat, but this voltmeter right here got me through the wiring of my new shop air conditioner. I still gotta put a drop ceiling in to kind of seal things off. But we did test the voltmeter against this and it's right around 0.5 of a difference. So you can go either way. Like I said, this is just a quick, dirty way. It's got a longer test lead, so it's easier to work around the harness. This is for like precise voltage drops and, and exact measurements. This will get you through the wiring of whatever you need to do. Like I said, I'm Dustin. This is Dustin's Customs. This is another episode of This Tool Is Cool. And if you like, you can check out my other videos. Right now, I have pulled out my Mustang, so that probably won't be in a couple shows from now. I'm trying to get my truck fixed. Uh, then we'll get some, I got a jet ski that I need to fix, but we'll get right back on that Mustang if that's why you're here within the next month or so. We'll get it built in that car. But for now, this is just a cool tool that I thought you could use in your shop, at your house, or in your car. So go ahead and check these out. These are on Amazon. And I want to thank you for watching. This is Dustin's Customs with another episode of This Tool is Cool. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.